what's good youtube welcome back to another haircut tutorial today we're going to be doing a burst fade on my client here first off we're going to section the hair and separate that longer hair on the top to what's on the side it's going to be kind of a bit of an undercut we're going to try to get that back in a little bit more bulky but we're going to go ahead and comb all the hair down so we can fade into this hair nice and neat so you want to make sure your canvas is ready to go before you start laying down any clip work so first off, we're gonna create our bald line using our TPOB Goblin Trimmer. I uh, highly recommend this trimmer. It's very powerful, it'll cut through any bulk, gets very close to the skin. And uh, once we bald out this complete area right here, we're gonna go ahead and make a very neat guideline. And after we do that, bald out underneath with the trimmer and then go over it with the Slime Mini Shaver. And that is a single full shaver. Uh, it's a perfect shaver for small areas, uh, for tight spaces. So if you're looking for something that can get in those areas, I highly suggest you get the slime mini foil now after we do this right here we're gonna go ahead and take our tpob machete we're gonna go ahead and lever open create our first panel of hair to fade into once we get this panel created we are gonna do some lever play but you want to make sure that everything is nice and neat um, because when you make neat guidelines it just makes it a lot easier to maintain symmetry on both sides it also just helps you to stay uh you know very clean work very neat throughout the entire service so after we do that we're going to go ahead and close the lever all the way open and slightly fade up until we get this area blended out so what we're going to do is fade up a little bit open the notch fade up a little bit more open the notch until that clipper is fully extended so that lever is fully extended and you can see here i'm using the corners of my blade because this is a very small area you don't want to use the entire blade because you're going to create uh more work for yourself so by using those first two three corners of the blade you'll be able to create a nicer blend a smoother transition using those uh first two three corn teeth of the blade now after we do this we're gonna go ahead and get our one guard and create another panel of hair so what we're gonna do for this specific fade is we're gonna go ahead and stack guards uh from no guard up to a number three so right here you can see i'm just making sure i detail making sure i get every bit i can then we're going to get to that one guard lever close create another panel of hair to fade into and uh like i said you just want to follow that same that little burst shape you made at the very beginning that curve shape you want to follow that same shape for all your panels that you create now once you get that created we're going to go ahead and take our half guard drop back down to our half guard close the lever all the way open it one notch start fading up open it another notch fade up until you see all the, the lines gone in that little panel of hair that we created now this is a very um different haircut to do it's not your typical high fade mid fade bald fade there's a lot more curvature to the guidelines there's a lot more tighter areas to fade into so you want to make sure you're doing your best to keep that shape so on the back end we're going to go ahead and round the back later on in this portion of this haircut but first off we're going to get to the fade work which we're doing right now so i got that half guard on there and just lever playing until i get all these dark areas blended out and i detail as much as i can now once we got all this half guard work done we are going to jump to the one and a half guard and create another panel of hair to fade into now right here i'm working at some dark spots that you can see here with my half guard the half guard is monumental it's super key if you are in the shop behind the chair but like i said we're getting to that one and a half guard creating another panel of hair to fade into and uh, once we get that panel created with our lever closed we are going to drop back down to the one guard lever all the way closed open it one notch and, and start fading up and as you can see here the shape of the haircut is coming into coming into play um before my client came to get a haircut he did have like an undercut all the way around a mid drop fade but he wanted to go back to the burst fade is what something he had before so we're gonna go ahead and accomplish that for him so i got that one guard on there and i'm just lever playing opening the blade opening the lever notch by notch until we get this area blended out and you can see here the transition is looking beautiful the gradient in the fade is looking nice and by following steps by following a process you will always uh ensure that you have that type of product so you want to make sure that whatever your process is whatever you choose to do i know there's hundreds of tutorials out there but pick up a little nugget from every barber that you watch and just try to create your own system and follow that system for any haircut that you do uh, by doing that you will create some consistency in your haircuts and consistency is key to getting a great blend for every haircut that you do now right here 
after the one guard lever play i am going to get that half guard back on there and i'm going to detail little areas that i see on the back end there behind the ear because i there's some discrepancies that i wanted to blend out before i get to the next guard so now we got the two guard on and we're just lever playing with this since it's there's not a lot of hair to blend back there we're gonna majority like float the clipper off and try to create a bit more bulk on the back end of the hair and i'm taking that two guard all the way up to the ridge of the hair on the front end of the haircut because it's going to be a more transition blend at the in the front than it is in the back in the back we're going to have a lot more bulk uh, so that way we can have that curly hair eventually uh, match up with the hair on the back so we can get a mohawk type uh burst fade full look going for him but you can see here i dropped to that one and a half guard and i have the lever open all the way around that ridge area in the front because it made a smoother transition than just the two guard lever closed so i'm just working these little details out to make sure we get the best possible blend we can now after we do that one and a half guard we are going to uh jump into our edge up portion of this haircut this is just the last minute detail work that i'm doing right now um well i'm sorry before we do that got that two guard again lever playing with this area behind the ear now you're going to revert back on your haircuts plenty of times because it's you're going to look away from the haircut and then look back at the haircut and see areas that you can blend a lot better um, once you adjust your eyes to look at something else and look back at the haircut, you'll see discrepancies in areas where you can fix. So that's what we're doing now with the three guard is just floating into that bulk of the hair on the back end of his head to make sure we create that bulk in the back that the curly hair can transition to uh, as he grows it out. Now, once we're done with this three guard, we are going to get to the edge of portion, like I said, and we're going to go ahead and round out the back of his hair. So we're going to do some lineup prep using our Sam Lemire lineup spray. Uh, you can get this at Forward Barber Supply Amarillo. That's FWBSAmarillo.com. And the next thing we're going to go ahead and blow dry that after we spray it on there to make sure it solidifies. And then we're going to go ahead and edge up using our Goblin trimmer here. Now, like I said, this trimmer here is A1. It's a great, great trimmer. It's very powerful and eats through bulk like nothing. And it creates very sharp lines. Uh, this trimmer has the triple X blade, uh, which is equivalent to like your Stylecraft Gamma, um, the one blade that they have on their trimmers. So you can see me here balding all that out. And we're just keeping a round shape to the back. Once we get all this cleared out with the trimmer, we will go over it with a mini uh, skull the mini slime skull is I'm, I'm sorry the mini skull slime edition is what it's called it's a single full shaver like i said and we're just getting this area completely balded out and then we're going to jump back to the edge of portion on the front we're going to go ahead and line this up using our tpob goblin and just creating a a very uh a very rounded c cup from my client so you can see in the front of his head he does grow his his hair grows a lot on his forehead so we will conduct a professional pushback when we get to that portion just to create a a more wider edge up in the front that way it's not so small so you can see me doing that here so a lot of times people will say don't push people back but there is a way to professionally push somebody back and that's what we did right there and now we got the 245 triple cartridge razor with the dorco prime blade in there and we're just cleaning that up with the doing our razor work now everything we did on the left side is what we're doing on the right side right now and we're just same exact process same exact steps just make sure you're following a process to make sure you have that symmetry on both ends of the haircut now um a lot of times you want to well not a lot of times every time you want to make sure you have reference points to where you can have the same haircut on both sides create the same guidelines on the same areas and that'll make sure that you have that symmetry next thing we have is our jv pro airbrush and we have the jv pro color the black color inside that airbrush and we're just throwing on a light light coat of color enhancement just to darken up those edges a lot more than they were 
and we're gonna go ahead and throw it on the back i mean you've seen the haircut you really don't need enhancement but for the purposes of this video we are gonna throw it on there for the purpose of taking a picture for your portfolio you, you can add enhancement if you want but there is the cut i appreciate everybody for tuning in locking into this video uh if you made it this far i appreciate you if you're not subscribed to the channel hit that subscribe button smash that like button turn your post notifications and until next time god bless